Hi, this is Elder Derek Strickland with your Bible verse explained. Today's Bible verse we're explaining is Romans 15 and 13. And it reads, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Let's break that down. Now when it says, Now the God of hope, Paul refers to God as the God of hope. This title emphasizes that God is the source of and foundation of all hope, right? He is the one who provides us with the confidence uh, expectation of good things to come, especially regarding his promise and our future with him. Now, this rem this reminds us that our hope is not based on circumstances, right? Uh, but on God himself, who is unchanging and faithful. When we place our hope in God, it secures and steadfast, right? Now, what does it mean when it says fulfill you with all joy and peace, right? Fill you. The word fill suggests that God doesn't just give a little bit of joy and peace. He fills us completely. It's a abundant, overflowing measure. Now, when you talk about joy and peace, these are two key fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5 and 22. Joy is a deep abiding sense of happiness and contentment that comes from knowing God and trusting in him. Peace is the calm assurance that God is in control, no matter what is happening around us. Now, how do we apply this? When we trust God, he fills our heart with joy and peace, even in the midst of trials. This joy and peace are not dependent on our external circumstances. Let me say that one more time. This joy and this peace is not dependent on our external circumstances, but are rooted in our relationship with God. Now, when it says in believing, this phrase points to the means by which we are experiencing joy and peace. Through faith, it is our belief, our trust in God, that opens the door for him to fill us with joy and peace. Now, how do we apply that? The more we believe in God's promise and trust in his character, the more we will experience the fullness of joy and peace in our lives. So when it says that ye may abound in hope, uh, abound means to overflow or to have, <coughs> to have more than enough. Paul is saying that as God fills us with joy and peace, through our faith, our hope will overflow. This hope is not just a wishful thinking, but a confident expectation in God's goodness and faithfulness, right? When we are filled with God's joy and peace, it strengthens our hope. We become people who are full of hope no matter what the challenges we face, all right? Because our confidence is in God's promise. So, and it says, through the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is the one who empowers us to live the Christian life. It is through the Holy Spirit power that we are able to experience this overflow, <coughs> excuse me, this overflowing hope and joy and peace. We cannot generate this hope, joy, and peace on our own, all right? We cannot generate it on our own. It is the work of the Holy Spirit within us as we yield to the Holy Ghost he empowers us to live in a way that reflects God's character, filling us with hope in the process. So in summary, Romans 15 and 13 is a prayer and a blessing that Paul offers to the believers. He's asking God to, uh, who is the source of all hope, uh, will fill the believers with such joy and peace that their lives be overflowing with hope. This hope comes through faith in God is empowered by the Holy Ghost. Now, how does this apply to us today? This verse reminds me uh, that our hope comes from God, not from our circumstances. Keep that in remembrance, right? When we focus on God and trust his promise, he will fill us with hope. Now, the joy and peace, how does that apply today? Through faith, we can experience a deep joy and peace that transcend our understanding or circumstances. Now, what about the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is the one who empowers us to live this way. By staying close to God and relying on his Holy Spirit, we can live lives that are characterized by hope, joy, and peace, no matter what we face. 
These verses encourage us to believe in our trust in God, knowing that as we do, he will fill us with his joy and peace, enabling us to live with a hopeful outlook sustained by the power of the Holy Ghost. Once again, I am Elder Derek Strickland, and this is Bible Verse Explained. Today's Bible Verse Explained is Romans 15 and 13. Have a God-blessed day.